Uh, this is Arx Fatalis, a game by Arcane Studios. Uh, Arcane Studios are the developers, not the producers, the developers of the new game coming out next Tuesday, Dishonored. Uh, they also made Something Something Might and Magic. Uh, that was a really good RPG. <laughs> it's kind of silly at some times, but it was enjoyable. This is also an RPG. This is actually their first RPG, I believe. Interesting. Can't change any of this. Oh, I can. I can reroll. Okay. Going all D&D. Rolling stats. I'm glad I did, too, because these were, like, really low. Armor class 3. Uh, actually, I don't know. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna click on this ten times, see what comes out, and I'll stick with it. Close my eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we have? All right, two armor, second armor class. Pardon. Twenty-four magic resistance, thirty poison resistance, twenty-two health points. The twos are really weird looking. 11 mana points, uh, f level damage level 4. So does that mean I do 4 damage? I guess that would make sense, because I only have 22 health points. 8 strength, 11 mental, not intelligence, 11 mental. It's interesting. Check a catechation really like that. Uh, dexterity. 10 dexterity. Alright, let's see what these do. Determines your damage bonus in fights and your ability to use heavy weapons. Object knowledge skill and combat skills. Alright, so I want to look at that last sentence as always. Um, mental has an impact on skills such as Ethereal Link. Okay, I don't know what any of this means. Resistance to magic and mana pool, that. I know what that means. Technical skills, stealth, combat. Alright. So, it's like pretty well rounded. I have low strength though, so I guess I'm going to be fast. I can't... Oh, appear, there's the appearance button. I was going to say, I can't change my face. Look at those... Look at those eyes. Those, like, JPEG folding eyes. Ugh. 22 still... 26. Is that bad? Why are those red? I guess that's bad. I don't know. Everything's, like, really well-rounded. I don't seem to have an excess of anything except for defense. Holy crap. Defense is, like... 10 more than anything else here. Alright, appearance. Oh, I just select which one of these guys I want to be. Well, I'm not going to pick the guy with a pentagon scar on his forehead. Yeah, I'll pick that guy. Looks homeless. Uh, wow, these are very ugly characters. This guy looks like he's wearing a wig. This guy... I don't know. I, he's not that bad. It looks like he's homeless. And, uh, just, oh, what? The cat is talking to me. What? Oh, big, big kitty on. All right. Oh, I should probably open this. You can see everything, because this game is not compatible with Xplit. But I did manage to crop it well enough to uh, get that uh, frame less. Like you can't, you can't see my cursor when I'm going over this uh, border. So that's good. Also, this game is a pain to run in windowed. Uh, I had to go into the config file and oh, uh, is that us? I got giant nipples. Wow, this is abrupt. Did I... I didn't miss anything. I watched the opening cutscene. By the way, the, the story of this world is... Um, this is the planet Arx. And... Er... The, the city of Arx, actually. Which was a regular above-ground city that had its enemies. And then the sun went ahead and disappeared. Yeah, just like... Goodbye. Cursor mode to mouse look mode. Interesting. Uh oh. I 
that's not good. Anyway, the sun disappeared and everyone went underground. Ooh, I'm, I moved fast. And uh, everyone was happy until the rat man and the goblins decided we don't want to be friends with the humans anymore. So, again, I was saying it's not supposed to run in windowed. Like, there's a video option for it. So I had to go into, like, the config file and disable full screen. Like, it was really complicated. To get it to run in... <laughs> 1280 by 720 was even harder, but um, when I played in full screen, it uh, when I was in this mode, I could it was like RTS style view, like I could move my cursor to the edge of the windows and it would let me view it. But I guess I'll just have to stick with this. See, so yeah, while you're in this mode, you can like grab stuff and move it around. I, I suppose I can pick it up if I want to throw it. Wouldn't know how how to add it to my inventory. And then this is I what I assume is the combat mode. Uh, earlier when I was messing around with this, I had my like fists out in front of me. Ready for fist stuff, so I was gonna pick up these mushrooms. So yeah the icon next to the arrow. I should hide my arrow. Cause that's really bad. I wonder if I can do that. Crosshair cursor. Oh. Just a crosshair. Alright. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and hide my uh, cursor for now. Oh, hey, Razor. I think... Settings. If go to screen. Show mouse. All right. There we go. Now I can't see my mouse on screen. There we go. I can still see my mouse, but you can't see it, and that's all that matters. All right. So I'm captured by the rat men. Hey. Oh. Who said that? So you? Oh. Stranger, we have to get out of here. Remember, it's gone. Oh, I can't even hear what they're saying. The gobblers probably crept up on you from behind. Bloody gobblers. Dumb rotten gobblers. All right, I gotta turn up the dialogue. This is subtitles. All right. Options, audio settings. So, I'll turn up the master volume and turn down the sound effects and ambience volume. Alright, now let's see if I can, uh... There has to be a way out. Shut up, you <laughs> what the heck? Someone in the back there just told us to shut up. I don't want to shut up. Alright, whoops, wrong one. Back. Let me turn this up a little bit more. Turn that down, turn that down. Alright. Go on, have a really good look. I'm sure there's a way to get out of here. Alright. Is that the goblin? Oh. Shut up, human! Okay, so that's okay, so goblin is just like jeez, we are like world record sprinters in this place. Razor left. <laughs> Metal bar. I should be able to work that loose. Should be able to work that loose. Oh. Double click on any fixed. I put it in my inventory. Look at that. How did that work? Oh, oh. I think I actually just double clicked it and, uh. At the same time, I threw the rock. I'll put that in my. You never know when you need a rock. Alright, it said F. Press Weddy Weapon to go into combat mode. Whoa!
Oh, I'm supposed to kill the goblin with the bone. Uh, so we're going all elders. Ow! That was like the most wussiest ow. English speak you. Oh, he's blue. Double click on dead bodies. Where's their inventory? All I see is mine. I have a rock. Oh, is this it? The sword? No. Jeez, I run so fast. Hey, Canahuana. How are you today? Bottle of wine. I like this, like, system of how I can just move stuff and throw it. Where'd it go? Grab some extra bones. In case mine ever breaks. Oh, a fish. Fresh fish here. Alright, so this is the beginning of the game where you take everything. Oh, my bone did break. Crap. I guess because I hit the uh, thing. Okay, I can't put this in my inventory. Just throw it. Ding. Listen to this fit. His feet are like. Jesus. <laughs> Let's do a run. Jeez, this guy can run the Miracle Mile. I'm doing good. Hey, Vic Balbo. This game is called Arc Fatal Arcs Fatalis. Uh, it was produced by a company called Arcane Studios, who's making the new um, game coming out next Tuesday called Dishonored. Uh, Dishonored is the new. I think it's. <sighs> I always screw up the pronunciation. Uh, Beth, Bethsida? That's so wrong. Bethsidia, Beth something. A porticolis. Okay, can't open that. This is the guy that we got it for you. Will you just open my cell? How? What is this? Oh, it's a mouse. I can. Can we leave? We can leave. One of the main. Uh, points to this game is that everything you do, everything you do, affects. Oh, there we go. Affects what'll happen. So, like, I guess I could leave without him. Oh, there's the lever. So I got another lever over here. Uh, the, these are. Thank you, Armshagar. Armshagar. Remember your name. You better keep this one. It means he who has no name. Foreign tongue. Oh, that's appropriate. My name is Coltar. Coltar. I was part of the Travelers Guild before I ended up here. I'm Shigar. <laughs> I'm Conan the Barbarian, skinny style. What is this guild of travelers? Well, what is this really guild? Have lost your memory, haven't you? Our world no longer has a sun to heat it, and outside Backstory. is more than a huge expanse of ice. Only those who are trained and equipped for extreme conditions are allowed to make the dangerous trek between fortress cities hidden deep in the mountains. These people are the Guild of Travelers. Next story is a bit faster than how they speak. Now let's get out of here. I am injured. I won't be able to get through this hole. Why don't we go up the door? here and wait till you can open the door. Oh, I guess I couldn't leave. Alright. We can try to break through the trap door on the floor. Maybe Crouch by what? Yeah. Demon powers? Ugh, look at his arm. I press control to crouch because that's normally what I have it set to. But I guess C or X is crouch. So they're both crouch. Oh, and it's a hold. Okay. Oh no, C is the toggle and X is the hold. Alright. And this is our demon powers. Oh! I can shoot purple. And yellow. Weird. Can't wait till this honor. I know. I'm so excited. Uh, they're uh, the the Arcane Studios also made.